Welcome to One Minute Theatre Reviews. I'm Paul Seven Lewis and I'm here at the Royal Court Theatre to review What If, If Only by Carol Churchill. At the beginning of Carol Churchill's new play What If, If Only, we meet a man uh, referred to in the cast as someone. He's sitting at a table in a small room talking to himself, or rather to someone who isn't actually there. His first words are about a man who spent 10 years trying to paint an apple so that it looked just like an apple. Then seven years trying to paint an apple so that it looked nothing like an apple. Then he died. Now, Carol Churchill's new play is less than 20 minutes in length, so I assume she wouldn't waste words. So what's the significance of the apple fable? Well, I'll come back to that. We immediately discover that his partner has died, but that he still likes to talk to his beloved and wishes that he could get in touch with them, beyond the grave, as it were. John Heffernan's portrait of grief is touching. It's so quietly sad. Well, a bit too quiet, actually, in terms of being heard at the back, which is a shame because James MacDonald's production savours every word. Now, as someone wonders what if his loved one had lived and wishes if only they had lived, he longs to see a ghost. And on cue, designer Miriam Buter's cube-shaped room, which is a metaphor for being contained by the present, rises to let in a ghost from outside the present moment. What follows in this short comedy about loss is both thought-provoking and unexpectedly funny. Well, that's the one-minute review. Keep watching for more about What If, If Only at the Royal Court. Much to our surprise, and that of the protagonist, the ghost that appears is not the dead figure from the past, but a ghost from a possible future and then more possible futures, all represented wonderfully by smiling Linda Bassett, who has great fun switching between characters in some packed monologues. Actually, we do meet one more character, a child who could be part of this man's future, confidently played on the occasion I saw it by Samir Simon Keegan, who may well be part of the future of acting. So, the play is about dealing with grief, and the theme that emerges is that you can't bring back the past only take one of the many possible routes into the future that will be different from the past. Not a hugely original idea, but cleverly told. So what about the apple? Is the apple a metaphor for the present? Uh, in other words, while his loved one was alive, each new moment resembled the previous moments in his memory, so he was kind of painting an apple that looked like an apple. But when his loved one died, the present no longer matched his memories, so he was trying to paint an apple that looked nothing like an apple. Maybe I'm reading too much into the apple. What if I hadn't tried to analyse the meaning of the apple story? If only I hadn't mentioned the apple. Let's just move on. I give what if, if only, at the Royal Court Theatre. Four stars. I hope you found this review interesting, and if you want to be the first to know about my future reviews, please subscribe to the channel One Minute Theatre Reviews. And if you want to read my reviews, go to oneminutetheatrereviews.co.uk. Thank you for watching.